Greetings, everyone. I welcome you once again in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And it is time for another daily Bible reading. And we are continuing in the book of Exodus, and we are be going through Exodus chapters 13 through 15 today. And so let's get started. If you have your Bible handy, please turn along with me. And if you're not able to get to your Bible, like if you're driving or at work or something, please just follow along and you can come back later and get the entirety of this video. Amen. All right. So chapter 13 and verse 1 says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye came out of from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For the strength of hand, the Lord brought you out from this place. There shall no leavened bread be eaten. This day came ye out in the month Abib. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. Um, unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall no leaven bread be eaten with, with thee, Neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. And thou shalt show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thine hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes, that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in his season from year to year. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, as he swear unto thee and to thy fathers, and shall give it thee, that thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix, and even and every firstling that cometh of a beast which thou hast, the males shall shall uh, be the Lord or shall be the Lord's, and every firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb, and if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break his neck, and all the firstborn of man among thy children shalt thou redeem, and it shall be that when and it shall be when. Thy son asketh thee in the time in time to come, saying, What is this? That thou shalt say unto him, By strength of hand the Lord brought us out from Egypt, from the house of bondage. And it came to pass, when Pharaoh would hardly let us go, that the Lord slew all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord all that openeth the matrix, being males, but all the firstborn of my children I redeem. And it shall be for a token upon thine hand, and for frontlets between thine eyes. For by strength of hand the Lord brought us up, or brought us forth out of Egypt. And it came to pass, when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest peradventure the people repent uh, when they see war, and they return to Egypt. But God led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up, uh, harn uh, harnessed out of the land of Egypt. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had uh, straightly um, sworn the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, 
and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Succoth, and encamped in Ethram, or Eth Etham, in the uh, edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to lead them light, or to give them light, excuse me, to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night, from before the people. Chapter 14 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they turn and encamp before uh, Pihahroth, uh, between Migdal and the sea, over against Baal Ziphon, before it shall, before it shall ye encamp by the sea, for Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are entangled in the land; the wilderness hath sh uh, shut them in, and I will harden Pharaoh's heart that he shall follow after them, and I will be honored upon Pharaoh and upon all his host that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And they did so. And it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and his servants was turned against the people. And they said, Why have we done this, that we have let Israel go from serving us? And he made ready his chariot, and took his people with him. And he took six hundred chosen chariots, and all the chariots of Egypt, and captains over every one of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he pursued after the children of Israel. And the children of Israel went out with a with an high hand. But the Egyptians pursued after them all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, and his horsemen, and his army, and overtook them encamping by the sea, beside Pahiroth, uh, before Baal's Ziphon. And when Pharaoh drew uh, nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were sore afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word of that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the, the Egyptians? For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. <laughs> but uh, it isn't better to serve the Egyptians. 13, to, uh, verse 13, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he ha will show to you today. For the Egyptians, whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Amen. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore uh, criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thine hand over the sea, and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his host, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord." When I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen, and the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went before, behind them, and the pillar of the cloud went from before their face, and sto stood behind them. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel, and it was a cloud and darkness to them, but it gave light by night to thee. Or to these, so that the one came not near the other all the night. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, 
and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong uh, east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud, and troubled the host of the Egyptians, and took off their chariot wheels, that they drave them heavily. So that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength, when the morning appeared. And the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned, and covered the chariots, and the horsemen, and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them, there remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall unto them, on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians, and the people uh, feared the Lord, and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. Amen. Chapter 15 Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath been hath he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he is become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him an habitation. My father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Amen. Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered covered them. They sank into the bottom uh, as a stone. The right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, hath dashed in pieces the enemy. Praise God. And in the greatness of thine excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And with the blast of thy nostrils the water, waters were gathered together. The flood stood up, up, upright as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue thee, I will overtake, I will divide thy, the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Thou didst blow uh, with thy wind. The sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Thou stretchest out thy right hand. The earth swallowed them. Thou in mercy hast led forth the people, which thou hast redeemed. Uh, thou hast guided them in thy strength unto thy holy habitation. Amen. The people shall hear and be afraid. Sorrow shall take hold on the inhabitants of Palestinia. Then the dukes of Edom shall be amazed. The mighty men of Moab, trembling, shall take hold upon them. All the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt away. Fear and dread shall fall upon them. By the greatness of thine arm, they shall be as still as a stone, till thy people pass over. O Lord, till, uh, till the people pass over, which thou hast purchased. 
thou shalt bring them in, and plant them in the mountain of thine inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in, in the sanctuary, O Lord, which thy hands have established. The Lord shall reign for ever and ever. Amen. For the house of Pharaoh went in with his chariots and with his horsemen into the sea, and the Lord brought again the waters of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on dry land in the midst of the sea. And Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dances. And Miriam answered them, Sing ye to the Lord, for he had triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea, and they went out into the wilderness of Shur. And they went three days in the wilderness, and found no water. And when they came to Mara, uh, excuse me, as uh, Mara, they could not drink of the waters of Mara, for they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Mara. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made for them a uh, statute and an ordinance, and there he proved them, and said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his com uh, commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. And they came to Elam, where were tw uh, twelve wells of water, and threescore and ten palm trees, and they encamped there by the waters. Amen. So, there you have it. Um, the Lord did uh, drown the Egyptians and got the nation of Israel, his chosen people, to the other side. Praise the Lord. And then... They murmured again. <laughs> he gets them out of Egypt, and then they're happy for a little bit because he got them out, and then their enemy is destroyed, and then right after that, they are starting to murmur again and how how that uh, applies to us, too. <laughs> how we like to murmur. The Lord will uh, get rid of our enemies and uh, get us to the other side, and then we murmur again and say, Oh, I don't like it here. There's no water. What's the Lord doing? Oh. <laughs> but uh, he knows what he's doing. Amen. All right. Well, that will wrap it up for today's devotional. I mean, devotional um, daily Bible reading. And tomorrow we'll be going into Exodus 16 through 19. Amen. So hope you'll stay tuned for that. Until next time, this is Brother Scott signing off. May the Lord richly bless you. And you all have a great and wonderful rest of your Thursday. Amen. All right. Bye-bye for now. Remember, Jesus saves. Believe on him.